When you at 10, there was no shortage of people in the valley willing to help during the pandemic, and their efforts continue to this day. CBS 4's Rocio Villalobos shares one man's story who went above and beyond to help his community. Nurse practitioner Johnny Yanez co founded Project COVID Care at the start of the pandemic to help the most vulnerable. Started with errands, picking up medications, and then we started off. Uh, went on to uh, getting, we were getting monetary donations and we started buying groceries and delivering groceries and supplies. Over a year later, the help is still needed. Well, there's no way I can move and go get my stuff. There's no way. Yana says many of the people he used to deliver to are now able to go out themselves since being vaccinated. But for others, the risks remain too high. And they're elderly or they're brittle, brittle diabetics or, or, you know, they had open heart surgery. As the demand for grocery drop-offs died down, he wanted to continue serving his community. He renamed Project COVID Care to the Project Care Foundation, which became certified as a nonprofit this past month. Our motto is people helping people. Whatever we can do to, to help, you know, during a crisis, during an environmental a disaster, anything that could happen uh, that we can do to help, then we're going to do that. He continues tending to the foundation after his work days and on weekends. Though it leaves him with little downtime, he finds it fulfilling. And when he was infected, he received the same outpouring of support. And I was sick for three months. and. People brought me food, so, you know, pay it forward. People will bring me food, leave it outside, you know, or, you know, leave it by the door uh, just to help me out. Yana says officially becoming a nonprofit provides the foundation with a better chance to grow. While he goes all over the Rio Grande Valley, his hope is to one day expand to the entirety of South Texas. Working for you in Westlaco, Rocio Villalobos. And if you'd like to volunteer or make a donation or are in need of assistance, we have the Foundation's contact information on our website, valleycentral.com.